Hi, welcome back. Well, we hear a lot in this program from Sue Rad about how your diet and the food you choose can make such an incredibly positive difference uh, in your life and to your health. But who I've got here today is Dr. Darren Morton from the Lifestyle Research Centre. And you're here to tell us, Darren, that there's a bit more to it than food, although food is important. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, everyone, and there's, there's such good information out there. And I think that, um, you know, the likes of Sue is making some fantastic inroads communicating the importance of, you know, positive nutrition for a healthy lifestyle. Mm. But, you know, what, what we're discovering is that it's, it's more than just food. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually many elements that contribute to these you know, this plethora of, of chronic diseases that we, we're witnessing in our society today. What, what diabetes, We're talking obesity. about type 2 diabetes, you know, um, yeah, obesity obviously, heart disease, mm. and many of these other conditions that, that um, you know, like even, even things like osteoporosis and, and some of these more eclectic conditions, chronic pain now we're starting wow. to see emerge, which is a real concern. Um, but yes, so food... Even, even mental health, is, is oh, it right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Wow. Now, you know, food can play a really big part, you know, in fact, the, 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 the adage now, we talk about lifestyle as medicine. Yep. And in fact, there's this new wave coming forward where, you know, we talk about um, uh, lifestyle medicine. There's, there's now the Australasian Lifestyle Medicine Association. There's the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. Okay. Yeah, and this is a really exciting thing because what we're, what we're discovering is that when you apply therapeutic lifestyle change, mm. and food is just part of that. Mm. We are getting to the other parts in, in just a moment. But yeah. when, you, when you apply therapeutic lifestyle change, to people even have these established conditions, often that treatment can be very, very effective for, for managing. Okay. And in some instances, this is where it gets really exciting, some instances even treating these conditions. Wow, so it's not simply a matter of, hey, live a healthy lifestyle and avoid all these problems. Yes. It can also be live a healthy lifestyle and actually maybe even reduce problems you're already struggling Absolutely. with. Absolutely, you know, and, wow. and can, like you say, for, for many years, I mean, we've got a lot of data now mm. that actually indicates that if you live this way, mm. um, you can live longer, you know, if you, if you practice positive lifestyle well, the, choices. I mean, the, the Blue Zones research Blue Zones a few years great. ago, Dan Buettner in the National Geographic, yes. there are places in the world where people yes. live a certain way, yep. where they live, you know, to 100 years and e even beyond. And, and even beyond. And yeah. so... You know, we know, for example, that the studies um, show very clearly that mm. probably over 80% of heart attacks are preventable through healthy wow. lifestyle choices. Okay. Over 90% of type 2 diabetes is preventable through healthy lifestyle choices. You know, probably a third or more of cancers are preventable through healthy lifestyle mm. choices. But what we've got is this, this new research coming through, which you know I find tremendously excited, exciting, um, that if you apply and actually when people have these conditions already, mm practice these healthy lifestyles in quite an intense way and you can manage and as I said in some instances even treat, mm. reverse these conditions. And you know, I've, so I'm involved in a program called CHIP which is the Complete Health Improvement Program. Yep. Um, operates in now 10 countries around the world oh, wow. and we consistently see stories of people coming into the program and, and you know, managing or sometimes even reversing their conditions. I, I think mm. I was just at a, 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 a Chip get together with a group of people last night, and you know, there was a guy by the name of Darren, really nice guy despite the name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he was um, almost ready for dialysis, kidney dialysis, wow. and and this is almost unheard of. But within the space of you know several months, he actually has restored his kidney function essentially back to normal. Wow. He's off all his diabetes medication. He's off his cholesterol medication. Mm. He's off his blood pressure medication. This is in consultation with, with, with his, his doctor. With obviously, his doctor. in fact, his doctor. He uh, uh, just two weeks into the program, he had to. He went to his doctor and he said, "I'm not feeling so good. I'm feeling a bit dizzy." Oh. The doctor checks his blood pressure. His blood pressure is too low Wait. because he's on the medication. So the Thank doctor you. had to actually take him off the medication to restore wow. it back to normal. Far out. So now, it's very powerful. Now, Darren, I, I understand you're a pr pretty active guy. I remember when I, I studied at Avondale College, which is where the Lifestyle Research Centre is based, yes. you uh, were well known for getting around in shorts and basically running across the campus, you know, <laughs> from, from home to various classes. Yes. And, and this is one of the ways that you actually built an active lifestyle into your ev everyday work. Yeah. I mean, well, is, look, is that an important thing to do? Oh, absolutely. So, you know, we, we talked about those components mm. of, you know, what it 
constitutes a healthy yeah. lifestyle. Nutrition's one of them. Physical activity is obviously another key one. Yeah. You know, what, what I want to say about physical activity is that you, you don't have to go nuts with it to get incredible benefits. Mm. And let me just stop you there, Darren, because Darren knows what it means to go nuts because he's the current Gloucester Mountain Man champion, which is, <laughs> was that, how long is, is that run? That race? Oh, that was, a, it's like an adventure race. There's a mountain bike paddle and then so, run. So sort of a triathlon Yeah, an off-road sort of triathlon. Event. Yeah. Wow. So here they go, mountain man speaking. <laughs> and li listen up. Sorry, keep going. I interrupted. But the, the point is that we know that if people just engage in, say, 30 minutes of moderate intensity, physical activity a day. Yeah, and which means enough to get you puffed? Well, no, it's not. It's actually, it's enough that we could still talk while we're doing it. Oh, wow. So okay. it's not, you know, gripping your chest, So it's a brisk, a brisk walk probably for most yeah, of well, us. Yeah, well, for some people it's not even that. You know, wow. for some it would just be, a, you know, a moderate pace walk. Mm -hmm. If that's enough to notice that, yeah, this would be a three to four out of ten in effort for me, mm -hmm. then that's moderate intensity. Wow. 30 okay. minutes of that a day has a profound effect on people's well-being. Wow. We know that the, the the research consistently shows that. So yeah, look, you know, nutrition's important, physical activity is important, mm. but there are a host host of other things too. We we know, for example, psychological stress. Okay. You know, very very important. There's studies now coming through which are you know revealing incredible things. You, you know, they take dental students mm -hmm. and uh, they'll take. This sounds a bit sadistic, but they take dental students and to the top of their hard palate in their mouth, they give them a little blister wound. Okay. They do it once just before exam period, and then they do it again um, in their va summer vacation. Okay. So stressful So when time. they're stressed in exams and when they're relaxed in, yes. the, in the holidays. Okay. And you know what happens? Those wounds take about 40% longer to heal in the stress-filled time of the exam wow. period. So, you know, we know that how you feel in a very real way affects how you heal. Yeah. So, you know, there's psychological stress. That's another Im important component of, of, of mm -hmm. managing a healthy lifestyle. We know that social connectedness, mm. you know, this is this, this, this ability for people to um, experience, to, to give and receive love. Mm. Have in a sense their life. of belonging. And, Have a sense yeah. of belonging, a sense of meaning, a to sense help of identity. And be helped. Yeah. We actually, some studies actually indicate that that factor is as important as not smoking. Wow. So, having, you in, know, that, what, in terms of preventing yes, absolutely. lifestyle disease. Which leads us on to some of the others. You know, there's, there's nutrition, physical activity, stress, social connectedness, mm -hmm. um, substance use, obviously, and we're talking here about smoking and the like. Mm. Uh, we know that inadequate rest is very important. This is underrated, you know, in our mm. society. I'm talking about sleep there, but I'm also talking about work-life balance. Yeah. You know, and, and, you know, our church has the concept of Sabbath, mm. you know, a day off a week. It is profound, mm. you know, that this is... there, and, and it's interesting, these things that we talk about there's biblical wisdom in, in, in embedded in you know yeah. all of them essential. Wow. And the last the last thing we don't have time to talk about, but is environmental factors. Yeah. You know, it's about it's pure air, about sunlight. It's yeah. about um, engaging with nature. We now know in kids that don't do that, um, there's a condition we, we call it N. DD, which is nature deficit is disorder. NDD. You know, wow. We know these kids have yeah. high uh, chance of you know chronic diseases, mm. um, socialisation problems, learning difficulties. Wow! And just so, getting outside, having some green time—they call it sometimes. They do. Don't they? Absolutely. Can make a, a heck of a lot of difference. Yeah. Wow, that's that's incredible, Darren. And understand that at Avondale College of Higher Education, you're actually putting together a, what is it? A postgraduate courses um, in yeah. So, in so this, this to me is the new frontier of healthcare. Yeah. You know, most people today are suffering mm. or dying from chronic diseases. Mm. And so what's the remedy? Well, we've got to go back to the causes and the causes mm. are poor lifestyle. And so um, we actually have launched just this semester at Avondale a, a graduate diploma in lifestyle mm -hmm. medicine. We're really, really excited about it. You know, we, we, I believe, um, you know, we're, we're trying to play a central role in championing this cause. Mm. And, um, and I think God sort of is giving it his blessing. Yeah. Wow. Hey, thanks so much, Darren. I really appreciate uh, your time today and sharing some of that stuff with us. It's incredible. Thank you. We'll be back straight after the break.